Hey guys, wouldn't it be nice if we can deploy apps such as Apache and Nginx in just a matter of seconds? Let's say I want to deploy a Linux build of Apache or Nginx on my Windows computer to play with. Yes, you heard it right. I'm going to run Linux apps on Windows. In a traditional virtual machine way, you need to build a VM, install Linux operating system, download and install Nginx or Apache onto that VM, and then you need to configure it to start the app. This is typically a time-consuming task. I will show you how to deploy apps such as Apache and Nginx using Docker in just a matter of seconds by running a single command in PowerShell depending on how fast my internet connection is. So I'm on my Windows 11 computer and I've already installed and configured Docker. Just to show you, Nginx is not installed on my computer. I have opened Microsoft Edge browser and I will type localhost colon 8080 and it does not load the web page. If you would like to know how to download and install Docker on Windows desktop, then you can watch my video on that and I'm going to put a link in the description. Back to PowerShell window, which I have opened as an administrator, I'm going to run this single command, which is docker container run minus it minus p port 8080 colon 80 nginx minus it instructs the docker to create an interactive bash shell in the container minus small p publishes or exposes the container's ports to the docker host here, port 8080 is the outside port which will be used by clients to access the web page hosted on the Nginx container. And port 80 is the inside port used to host the HTTP service on the Nginx container. I'm going to press enter. Now this is going to download the Nginx application also called as image from the Docker's public container registry. Now, after this image has been downloaded, the Nginx container will be started up automatically as a running application. Now, if I go back to the web page and reload localhost 8080, you can see it says, Welcome to Nginx. And back in the PowerShell window, you can see a web request logs made by our Edge browser. So this is how fast it is to deploy Linux apps such as Nginx on a Windows environment in really a matter of seconds and it was just a single command that I had to run. Now this Nginx app runs in a container and this is the beauty about Docker. Also to kill this app which is running as a process, I will have to simply press Ctrl C and you can see it will send the exit instruction to the container. So after stopping the container, the container image would still be there. And you can see when I type docker image ls. And to remove the container image, I'll run the command docker rmi minus f nginx and press enter. And you can see the image has been deleted. And if I type the command docker image ls and press enter, you can see it is gone. Let me clear the screen. Now let's say you want to install Apache instead of Nginx. It is again as simple as running the same single liner command, which is docker container run minus it minus p 8080 colon 80 httpd, which is the image name for Apache. So basically I'm just replacing the name in this command from Nginx to httpd, which is Apache HTTP package. Now I'm going to press enter. Now it's going to download the Docker image for Apache from the Docker Hub registry. And it is going to start the container running the Apache application. Going back to the browser, opening the page localhost 8080, it says it works. And back in the PowerShell window, you can see the web request logs made by our Edge browser. To know if it's really a patch web server, you can check the headers of the web page by going into the developer mode. So I'm going to click on the settings icon, go into more tools and click on developer tools, select network, click reload, select localhost. And you can see it says the server Apache 2.4.54 Unix. 
Now just like in Nginx, press Ctrl C in PowerShell to kill the process which is nothing but the container running a patch. Back in the browser, if you reload the page, you can see the page is not loading up. So this is how you deploy Linux apps such as Nginx and Apache of Linux build on a Windows machine just by running a single command and the deployment happens in a matter of few seconds. This is all possible because of Docker which runs these apps in containers, either Nginx, Apache or any app that are available as images in Docker container registry or in your own private registry. The Docker registry hub is available on the website https hub.docker.com. If you scroll down, you can see apps such as Nginx, database such as MongoDB, Redis, and MySQL, and many more. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.